What's up, Sunny fam? My name is Dominique, and welcome to your 20-minute dumbbell strength workout. We are working full body today, so go ahead and grab some dumbbells that you feel most comfortable doing upper body, lower body, and then you might even wanna use them for the core portion. The way this workout is gonna to work today, we are going in three different rounds. We have three exercises that we're gonna focus on. The time frame is gonna change on every single one of those rounds. The first round, our time frame is gonna be 30 seconds of rest with 60 seconds of work. The second one is gonna drop in that time of work and also drop in that time of rest. So we're gonna start with 60, 30. Second round is gonna be 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of recovery. Then our last and final round is gonna go super quick with a 20 second work ratio to a 10 second rest. All right, so we're gonna go through each one of those exercises, full first round, same time frame, then it switches. After we complete all three of those exercises in all three rounds, we'll take a one minute recovery and then we're gonna go into the same thing with three new exercises. Y'all ready to get started? Beautiful, all right team, let's do this. Go ahead and roll the shoulders back, shake out the tension of maybe the night's sleep, the day, the week, the year it might have already been. Roll the shoulders back, maybe you take a big like nice little shrug, release the tension there. Go ahead and take some arm swings. When you're ready, we're gonna go ahead and start to roll those shoulders all the way up and back. If you wanna take a single arm roll back, you're more than welcome to. Maybe you reverse that, take it forward. Or maybe you just take a couple more little arm rolls. Go ahead and bring those arms to the side, little circles forward, and reverse it. Beautiful, slowly bring those arms up over the head. We're gonna pull back, pulling those elbows down, almost like you're feeling those shoulder blades pulled together. Beautiful. Take a couple more, slow and controlled, really feel that chest open, that back get nice and warmed up. Give me one to two more. Nice, last one right here, hold it and release it, let it go, shake those arms out. Give me just a couple little taps to the side, let those arms kind of sway, feel that lower lumbar, the lower part of your back open up. Beautiful, last one on each side and release that, let it go. Bring those arms behind the head right into some prisoner squats. Go ahead and drop it low, squeeze it up. Nice, pressing through those heels. The booty is gonna squeeze, but I would rather you focus on driving through those heels using that power. Beautiful, last one right here. Hold it low, pulse it out. Beautiful, hold it low. Nice, we have four, three, two, and one. Shake those legs out. We are gonna work in some RDLs today, so let's go ahead and take some good mornings. Press those hips back, open up those hamstrings and drive it up. Let's go for about two more right here, nice and low, press it back. Inhale, exhale, last and final one. Hold it down and release it, shake those legs out. Beautiful, if there's any additional stretches you need, please take them. All right, my loves, our first exercise, you're gonna grab that dumbbell, sumo squat to a tricep extension. Feet come nice and wide, let's work together. Take it down, all the way up, elbows stay forward, triceps extend, beautiful. Keep the shoulders down, inhale, exhale, breathe, nice. Nice big swing, arms stay straight, elbows come forward, beautiful. Right there, nice and wide, hold it up. Elbows forward, press it down. We are halfway through this first set. We are here for a full minute, so get used to this movement. Focus on that form. Start to drive through the breath. Big inhale, big exhale as you lift. Keep the shoulders down, yes, all the way up. Don't let those elbows fly out, beautiful. Last couple reps here. You can take it slower, move through it quicker if that feels better. We have about five seconds left. Can you give me one or two more reps? Big inhale, big exhale, hold it low, and rest, recover. We are here for 30 seconds. You can grab water, towel off, whatever you might need. All right, my loves, our second exercise. We are going into a clean and a reverse lunge. So grab your water, towel off. I'm gonna demo for you first. They're gonna grab one dumbbell, same arm, same leg. So if you're going for that clean, you're gonna take it down right here. You're gonna rotate, use your legs to press that dumbbell to the shoulder. As you press that dumbbell overhead, right leg comes back. Yes, other side. Let's get to it, grab that dumbbell. All right, my loves, here we go, together. Grab it up, hold it, step it back. Nice, take your time alternating sides. You can drop it down, take it up, if this does not work for you, those cleans or those snatches to get a little tricky, you can also, I'm gonna show you on the other side, take just an overhead press, 
with that reverse lunge. There you go. Switch that dumbbell to the center. 30 seconds left. Hold it. Beautiful. You can bring the arm out to help you balance. Big inhale. Big exhale. Slow and controlled, especially in strength, especially in these full minute intervals. No need to rush through it. Yes. Use that breath. Perfect. Big inhale, big exhale. I'll go back to showing you those cleans if you're working there. Last couple seconds here. Inhale, exhale, release it. Go ahead and drop those dumbbells. Team, we are done with our second exercise in this full minute interval, crushing it. Woo! All right, grab that water. Take a big inhale, big exhale. I need it too. All right, my loves, we're gonna come on down to our backs. So go ahead and get yourself prepared. We're gonna bring those feet right on down, right here. So keep the heels kind of close to your glutes. You're gonna bring that dumbbell above the head, reach it all the way up. This is our crunch and punch. Yep, and then all the way back down. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Driving through that low part of the core. Inhale, exhale, slow and controlled as you come down. If that does not work for you, the dumbbell is too much, you can come all the way up and then release it down. Beautiful, slow and controlled. Another option, if that doesn't work for you, you can always just give me a basic crunch and release it down here. You can even use the dumbbell for it. Lots of options. Try to go all the way into that full sit up. Big inhale, big exhale. Nice, big inhale. You got it, crushing it, sunny fam. That's it. Last 15 seconds right here, slow and controlled. Beautiful job. Last 10, come on, stay with me. The time frame starts to drop on the next round. You have a 30 second recovery in three, two, and one. Nice work, go ahead and come on up. Grab a quick sip of water. The next round, same three exercises, time frame drops. Time frame drops by 20 seconds, recovery drops by 10. So 40 seconds on, 20 seconds to recover. All right, my loves, you have about 10 seconds left. Shake the body out. We go right back into those squats with that overhead press or that tricep extension is what that is. All right, my loves, here we go. Pick up that dumbbell. 40 seconds on the clock. Three, two, and one. Feet nice and wide. Hold it up. Bring those arms back. Beautiful core is nice and tight. Woo! Just because the time frame drops does not mean you have to pick up the pace. I'd rather you focus on that form. That breath, inhale, exhale, and just work on building strength mentally as well. Last 15 seconds here. Big inhale, take it down. Exhale, take it up, hold it. Feel those triceps extend. Last five seconds, beautiful work. Drive through the heels. We rest in three, two, and one. Team, second, first exercise done in this second set, a second round. Y'all are crushing it. Second exercise coming up, that clean or that overhead press, that shoulder press to that reverse lunge. You got it, towel off. Mentally prepare, we set it up in three, two, and one. I'll show you those different variations. Here we go, step it back. Inhale, exhale, switching sides. Clean, oh, clean it up, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> nice, beautiful job. I messed up too sometimes, it's cool. We got it, there it goes. Inhale, exhale, take it back. Beautiful, if that doesn't work for you, Take just that press. You can neutral grip. Beautiful. Let's get it, come on. Halfway through this set already. Nice. Start to focus on that breathing. That body is nice and warm. Now we start to tap it a little bit more mentally. You showed up today. I love having you here. What is that reason that you're here? Take that rest in three, two, and one. Wasn't just to see me, although I'm so happy you're here. Tap into that reason you decided to press play today. All right, my loves, here we go. In 10 seconds, we come on down. We start our crunches and our punches. Last round in 40 second time frame. Let's get it. Three, two, and one. Big inhale, big exhale, slow and controlled. There it is. All you have to do right here is breathe and focus on that movement. So instead of swinging and pulling from the arms, I want you to almost like peel that spine off the floor. There it is, shoulders stay back. Beautiful job, we are halfway through this set already. 
So drop that dumbbell if it doesn't work for you. Give you that option also of just taking that little crunch. Beautiful. Find out what's most challenging for you today and stay there. Maybe it's just pulling back and slowing down. Rest in three, two, and one. Sunny fam, you're absolutely crushing this thing. We take our rest, last 10 seconds right here of this recovery, our final round of these three movements. We hit 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. It goes fast, does not mean that you have to though. All right, grab that dumbbell. Here we go, sumo squats, tricep extensions, three, two, and one. Let's get it. You can still take it slow. If you get in two and 20 seconds, that is just as good as giving in 20. Nice work, breathe. Big inhale, come on. Big exhale, beautiful. Last three seconds, finish it off, two and one. Quick 10 second recovery team. We go into that clean or that overhead press to that reverse lunge, working unilaterally, same side. Three, two, and one. Here we go, get it. Yes, maybe you take a little pause at the bottom, make it a little bit more challenging for yourself. Big inhale, big exhale, nice. If you wanna pick up the pace, pick it up. You have 10 seconds left right here. That's it, come on. Big inhale, big exhale, fight through that fatigue. Last three, come on, two, and rest. Quick 10 seconds, come on down, finish off this last and final set and this whole interval. 20 seconds on, let's get it. Three, two, and one. Big inhale, big exhale, slow it down. Yes, if you're wanting to just rock it through and power through these 20 seconds, you can drop that dumbbell and give me quick little crunches. Otherwise, hold it here. Five seconds left. You are absolutely smashing it, Sunny team. Let's get it. Three, two, and full minute recovery. You absolutely crushed that whole first interval. You worked for about seven and a half minutes, so give yourself a nice little pat on the back, a self little hug, because you crushed that. All right, my loves, make sure you grab your water, towel off. Say a quick prayer, get your life together, play your favorite jam, whatever you need. Take a sweaty selfie, send it to me, I'd love to see it. All right, my loves, we're going into our second round. So the first movement I'll show you and then we'll demo onto the next one. All right, we're gonna go into another combination movement. So we're working lower body and upper body. You're gonna grab both dumbbells for this whole uh, second half, this whole second interval for the first two exercises. You're gonna bring those dumbbells nice and close to the body. We're going in for an RDL. So you're gonna drive those hips back, back nice and flat, micro bend in the knees. Dumbbells stay as close to the knees or shins as possible. <sighs> Big exhale, drive through those hips. All right, it's a hip hinge movement. So the hips go back. Second set, or second uh, movement of this compound, you're gonna hold it, get in that row. I want you to pull those dumbbells back like you're putting them in your pockets. All right, here we go, full minute on, three, two and one. Drive those hips back, feet right under the hips. Slow and controlled, press the back, back, nice and flat. Exhale, squeeze it up. Inhale, hold it down, pull those dumbbells towards those hips. Beautiful. Feel the back contract on that row. If you wanna take an underhand grip, if it feels better, take it there. Beautiful. Big inhale, drive through the hips. Woo, how we feeling? Y'all are crushing this thing. Big inhale, take it up. Here we go, inhale, take it down. Exhale, drive it up, there it is. Inhale, exhale, drive through those hips, but also through the heels. Keep those legs nice and straight with just that micro bend. Crushing it. Last 10 seconds, let's get it. Inhale, don't be afraid to use that breath. Wake up your roommates, let them know. You're getting in that workout. Three, two, and one. Take your 30 second recovery. Team, this next one's gonna be a nice quad burner. So we're gonna grab those dumbbells again. You're gonna bring all of the weight onto the left foot. Right foot comes back, it's just a little clutch. Now, we're going into four staggered squats. So into four static lunges. Difference here, squat, both knees are forward. In that lunge, that back knee goes down. All right, I'll remind you, here we go. Three, two, grab your dumbbells, hold them down, roll the shoulders back. Clutch that right foot, pulse, four, three, two. Step that right foot back, knee goes down. Yes, holding it here. Driving through that heel. One more, we have four and four, we pull it back in. Hold it here, squat it, pulse it. Yes, both knees are forward, chest is back, or chest is up, shoulders are back. So you can put your chest back, that's pretty impressive. Step it back, four, three, breathe. Shoulders stay back, two. 
and one. We are halfway through this set. Let's switch sides. Bring that left foot back, pulse it down. Four. Yes, yeah, step it back. Woo! 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other. You are crushing it. Here we go, pull it in. Four, three, two, one. Step it back, come on, finish it off. Last two, last one. Pull it in, you have three, two, and recover. Woo! Go for a little quad stretch if you need it. Nice work. All right, we come on down for that core exercise. Coming into a plank position, grab that water, towel off. All right, my loves, this one's gonna be a little bit more challenging. You're gonna bring that dumbbell right underneath your chest line. All right, so I'll show you off to the side here. Coming into a high plank position, you're gonna bring that dumbbell to one side. Lift those hips up, pull the dumbbell to one side, pull the dumbbell to the other side. Keep those hips low. Here we go. Three, if you're like, what? Drop the knees. Two and one. Come to that high plank. Bring that dumbbell to the outside of the right. Keep the hips low, pull it through. Beautiful, if you need to drop to the knees, drop to the knees, but keep that tension in the core. Come on, inhale, exhale. Woo, let's get it. I hope you're sweating as much as I am right now. Y'all are killing it. Sunny fam, y'all came to work today. Keep the shoulders back, right over those wrists, keep going. Beautiful work, you can drop those knees, keep the tension in the front of the body. Beautiful. 20 seconds left. Keep breathing. Come on, I'm right here with you. Let's get it. Last 15. Keep the hips low. Don't let them extend up. Shoulders over those wrists. We recover together in five. Yes. Three, two, and one. <laughs> Drop those hips down. Shake those arms out. You killed it. Nice work. Great news, we are done with our full minute round. Second round coming up in about 20 seconds. We go into 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of recovery. So, towel off, take a sweaty selfie, grab water. Big inhale, big exhale, my loves. Second round, RDL to that row, let's get it. Three, two, and one. Drive those hips back, feet right underneath the hips. Exhale, hips come forward. Take it back, big row. Beautiful. Keep the core nice and tight so the belly doesn't just kind of fall down. Keep all that tension in those hamstrings. If your low back is bothering you, maybe just don't come back down as far. Beautiful. Last 15 seconds here. It's always your choice. I am just your guide, your roadmap. You are the captain of your ship. If you wanna just take rows or just take RDLs, Go for it. Last three, two, and recover. Quick 20 second recovery. We're going right back into those four staggered squats, four static lunges. There are half the time, 20 seconds on one side, 20 seconds on the other side. I'll let you know when to switch. Here we go, in three, grab those dumbbells. Two, you got it, let's get it. Right foot back, four pulses. Nice. Step that right foot back, knee goes down. Difference between that staggered squat and that static lunge. Try to say that a few times fast. <sighs> nice work, team. Hope you're having fun. Nice. Keep that front knee behind those toes. Don't let it get a little sloppy like me. When you start to fight that fatigue, all I want you to do is slow down and bring back to that form. Switch legs. Let's get it. You can keep it slower, start to move faster through. Step it back. All right, my loves, we already recover in three, two, and one. These sets are a lot quicker now. Come on down. Plank pulls, 40 seconds of work. Next round's very quick. All right, here we go. Come on down into that high plank or drop the knees. Bring that dumbbell to one side. Shoulders over those wrists in three, two, and one, let's get it, Sunny fam. Keep that core nice and tight. Try not to let those hips lift up, right? It's nice and cute and sexy in the mirror, but not good for perfect form, all right? So keep it down, keep that core tight. Fight to not lift. It's gonna naturally lift a little bit, that's normal. If you feel your shoulders coming back or forward, realign. Almost 10 seconds left right here, stay in it. We hit those 10 seconds in three, two, 10 seconds left, come on. 
You got it. Come on, last couple seconds here. Three, recover in two and one. Drop to those knees, take a quick child's pose if you need it. You got this. This next round, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Super quick, mentally prepare. Remember why you push play today, like we already said. All right, here we go. Last and final round, three, two, RDLs to those rows, let's get it. Drive those hips back. Just because this round is quick, I'll say it again, you do not have to be. I'd rather you work, as, work on that perfect form or work us on that form. You got it. Three, two, and one. Keep those dumbbells in your hands. It's only a quick little break here. Four staggered squat pulse, four staggered squats, static lunges. Let's get it. Here we go. Four. Step it back. Let's already switch sides. Basically just getting into one set here. Beautiful. Step it back. Woo! How you doing? You can switch if you still feel like you have that time. We recover in three, two, and one. If you are powering through, beautiful. If you were slowing it down, beautiful. All right, my loves. I made it this far, so did you. 20 seconds left of this thing. Let's get it. Come on down. Three, two, and one. Nice little plank pulls. Keep that hip low. Shoulders over those wrists. You got it. Stay with me. Last five seconds of this workout. Stay in, come on, if you came down, come right back up. Let's go, three, two, and one. Sunny fam, give yourself a little pat on the back, a little hug. If your child or husband or wife or roommate or friend is over, throw out an air high five to them. You crush this thing. Go ahead and drive those hips back. Let's take child's pose, shake the legs out. Big inhale, sink those hips back. Go for a quick little stretch. Take a big inhale, double inhale, big exhale, let it go. You crushed it, nice, nice work. All right, my loves, come on onto all fours into quadruped. Let's just drive through the spine a little. Tuck the toes, press the hips back, chin up, cat cow. Exhale, press the floor away. Maybe you take a couple more here, maybe you rock it side to side. Maybe you decide to shake some yeses and noes if you felt that tension in your neck. All right, go ahead and drive the right foot forward. You can stay in a nice high lunge, or you can tuck the toes and come into a low lunge. Maybe you add a little twist if that feels right. Beautiful, drop the back knee, press the hips back. I hope that you are feeling amazing and ready for the rest of your day, your evening, your life, whatever you've got going on. Step that opposite foot forward, a nice high lunge, or take it a step further, untuck those toes, or tuck those toes, maybe reach up. That feels good, stay there for a couple more seconds. Go ahead and drop that back knee, press those hips back. Toe comes up, heel stays down. This is not about how far you can forward fold. This is just about feeling that stretch in the back of the leg. So if this makes you vulnerable or uncomfortable, just know it's not about how far you can forward fold. I just want you to feel that stretch in the back of your leg. Inhale, exhale, come back to center. All right, my loves, plant those hands, tuck the toes, drive it up to that down dog. Shake some yeses, shake some noes. Be proud of yourself for crushing that today. Take a couple pedals here for the calves. Walk the hands to the feet or the feet to the hands. Slowly roll it up. My loves, let's take a big deep breath together. Step those feet out nice and wide. Big inhale, reach it up. Big exhale, may you have the best, most beautiful rest of your day. Thank you so much for joining me. Again, my name is Dominique and I cannot wait to see you at your next workout. Have a great day.